Archery featured in the first Paralympic Games in Rome in 1960 and has remained on the program ever since. Athletes use two types of bows, the recurve and the compound. The recurve features limbs that curve away from the athlete to increase power, whilst the compound bow uses pulleys to reduce the force required at full draw, making it easier to aim mechanical release aids and magnifying sights. They shoot their arrows at the centre of a target from a distance of 70 metres for recurve archers and 50 metres for compound and W1 archers. Each of the 10 rings on the target is a scoring zone, one point for hitting the outer ring and 10 points for the centre. There are two Paralympic archery classes, Open and W1. W1 athletes have arm and leg impairments and may therefore use either bow limited to 45 pounds in draw weight and without magnifying sight. In the open class, archers compete standing or in a wheelchair and will position themselves at a 90 degree angle to the target and may use body support. The recurve target measures 1.22 meters with a center of 12.2 centimeters in diameter. The compound and W1 target is smaller and measures 80 centimeters with a center of eight centimeters in diameter. On release, arrows can reach speeds in excess of 150 miles per hour. The competition is a knockout format until the last two athletes go head-to-head -head in the gold medal match. There are both individual and mixed team events featuring one male and one female athlete. Recurve matches use the set system. The winner of each set receives two set points and in the event of a tie, one point each is awarded. Individual sets consist of three arrows and mixed team of four arrows, two per athlete. Individual matches are the best of five sets with athletes needing six set points to win. Mixed team matches are the best of four sets, with pairs needing five set points to win. Compound and W1 matches are decided on cumulative score. Individual matches last 15 arrows. Mixed team matches last 16 arrows, eight per athlete. In all events, if the match is tied, there's a shoot-off where the closest arrow to the middle wins.